Good day everyone! In this video, we will discuss about the ellipse. Let us define what is an ellipse. An ellipse is a set of points on the coordinate plane such that the sums of the distances of the points from the two fixed points are constant. The fixed points are called the foci of the ellipse denoted by f sub 1 and f sub 2. Looking at the diagram, Considering two points on the ellipse, points P sub 1 and P sub 2, when we add the distances of P sub 1 to F sub 1 and F sub 2, its sum is equal to the sum of the distances of P sub 2 to F sub 1 and F sub 2 as well. All points on the ellipse have the same sum of distances from the foci. The figure shows a horizontal ellipse with center at the origin. Center is the middlemost point of an ellipse. Vertices of an ellipse are the endpoints of the major axis. Each vertex is A units away from the center. Covertices of an ellipse are the endpoints of the minor axis. Each covertex is B units away from the center. Foci are the fixed points of the ellipse. Each focus is C units away from the center. Major axis is the line segment joining the vertices of the ellipse. The length of the major axis is equal to 2A units. Minor axis is the line segment joining the covertices of the ellipse. The length of the minor axis is equal to 2B units. Lateral recta or the plural of latus rectum are the line segments that contain two points on the ellipse and passes through the foci F sub 1 and F sub 2. The length of the lateral recta is 2B squared over A units. Directrices or the plural of directrix are the lines outside the ellipse. The equations of the directrices are x equals positive negative a squared over c or y equals positive negative a squared over c. The general form of the equation of the ellipse is the second degree polynomial in two variables that is ax squared plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals 0, where a, c, d, e, and f are elements of real numbers. Moreover, the standard form of the equation of the ellipse with center at 0, 0 is given by x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1 for horizontal ellipse and y squared over a squared plus x squared over b squared equals 1 for vertical ellipse. On the other hand, the standard form of the equation of the ellipse with center at h comma k is given by x minus h quantity squared over a squared plus y minus k quantity squared over b squared equals 1 for horizontal ellipse and y minus k quantity squared over a squared plus x minus h quantity squared over b squared equals 1 for vertical ellipse. Note the importance of the standard form of the equation of an ellipse in determining the elements of the graph. The center of the ellipse is at h comma k. The square root of a squared is the distance of the vertices from the center. The square root of b squared is the distance of the covertices from the center. The distance of the foci from the vertex is c units where c can be solved by the formula c equals square root of a squared minus b squared. Also, note the following important things about horizontal and vertical ellipse. The standard form of the equation of horizontal ellipse is 
x minus h quantity squared over a squared plus y minus k quantity squared over b squared equals 1. If the ellipse is horizontal, then its major axis is a horizontal line and its minor axis is a vertical line. On the other hand, the standard form of the equation of vertical ellipse is y minus k quantity squared over a squared plus x minus h quantity squared over b squared equals 1. If the ellipse is vertical, then its major axis is a vertical line and its minor axis is a horizontal line. Changes in the orientation affect the other elements of the ellipse like the vertices, covertices, foci, and directrices. Also, to easily determine if it is a horizontal or a vertical ellipse, look at the value of a squared. If it is a denominator in x, then it is a horizontal ellipse. If it is in y, then it is a vertical. I hope that you have understood the lesson. For the next video, we will discuss about the ellipse with center at the origin. Thank you for listening and see you on our next discussion.